friends, I am Tulsaram Nakal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn to write a program in C to check whether the given number is palindrome or not. A program we have to write in C to check whether the given number is palindrome or not. First, we have to know what do you mean by palindrome number. Palindrome number are those number which when we reverse that number, the reverse number is also equal to the original number. That number is known as the palindrome number. For example, 1 and 2 serial number, 131, 256. When we reverse 131, it becomes 131, 131, 131. Original is 131 and reverse is 131. It is equal to, this reverse number is equal to this original number. That's why 131 is the palindrome number. But when we reverse this number, it becomes 652. So the original number is 256 and the reverse number is 652. It is not equal, that's why it is not the palindrome number. So, 131 is the palindrome number, 256 is not the palindrome number. So, I think you understand what the palindrome number are. Let's start the program. As include stdio.h as includes con io dot h and let's start the main program wide main start the curly braces here the program is start with the main function now main function this main function is divided into two parts one is declaration part and one is next is executable part <coughs> We have to declare here the variables. But what variables are essential in the program? First, we have to write the program and whatever the variables we write, that declare in declarative part, this declaration part. So, what variables are used? We, are, we don't know. Whatever the variables we use in the program, after that we can declare. So, it is not necessary to remember all the variables and declare first. So, I leave your line. After that, I start a program. We have to check whether the given number is palindrome or not. That's why I ask the user to enter the number and read through the keyboard. So, print F enter the number and read that number scan f percent d m percent n whatever the number we input that is stored in the variable n so this n is not understand by the compiler so write your int n one variable after that we have to write the palindrome. So, we have to divide the input number by 10. That's why we may lose the original number. To hold the original number, we need to copy in the temp variable. That's why temp is called to n. The number which is stored in n is copied to temp. Assigned to temp. So that after we divide the number, input number by 10, we will not lose the original number. And we perform the tasks, we perform the operations in 10 variable. Now, let's write here digit is equal to 10 mod temp 
more 10. This digit and this step are not declared here so that you will get the error. So declare error first. Temp digit. And let's take example. 10 mod 3 and 10 divided 3. 10 mod 3 means it takes the remainder. It holds the remainder. 10 divided 10, 3 means it takes the quotient. So, 3 divided 10, 3, 3 is a 9, remainder is 1. This one remainder is hold by the mod. And this 3 quotient is hold by divide. That's why, whatever the number is, if we did mod 10, uh, divide that number by 10, that means that we can take the unit part. We can take the unit part or remainder part. And then after, we have to store the reverse number. Rev into 10 plus, we have to add this digit. So this rev is also not declared here. So rev is equal to 0. Now, now, Again, this tape is called to tape by tape. Now, only this variables are essential, so keep here semicolon. Tape is called to tape by tape. This operation must be continued till the tape is not equal to zero. So, we have to put a condition while temp not equal to 0 and then keep your curly braces and in your curly braces. So that until and unless the condition is not satisfied, it repeat and repeat. After this, we have to check whether the reverse number, the Number stored in this reverse is equal to original number or not. So after this, if reverse equal to equal to the original number, if it is true, then we have to print print f percent d is the palindrome number. Else print f print f percent d parental number after we have to pass the number. Percent d is not the palindrome number and pass here 1 and then after right here get ch and close the main function and now see here when you enter now see the output ones output when you compile and run the program after that you will see this one enter the number Enter the number. If you enter 121, suppose if you enter 121 number, then first it check it check in temp not equal to zero. This is true. And then after it enters here and temp mod 10. 121 mod 10. It means that the remainder is 1. This one is stored in digit. Now in digit, there is the value 1. And then after, reverse is equal to rev into 10. In second part, rev means rev is equal to 0. 0 into 10 plus digit means 1. Equal to 1. 0 into 10, 10. 
plus 1, 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. So, now temp equal to temp divide 3. Now, here in temp there is 121. Divide 10 means now the question is 2 will. And again it repeat. Now, the in temp what is the value assigned? 2 will. This 2 will is not equal to 0. It is true. It is true. That's why it enters here. Digit. In digit. Now take the digit 10. 2 will more 10. 2 will more 10. It means your 2. 2 is assigned in digit. In digit there is 2. Digit equal to 2. And in rep. In previous time. In rep there is 1. 1 into 10 is equal to 10 plus 2, 12. Now, rev is equal to 12. And this in temp. In temp, what is the number here? 12 divided 10 is equal to 1. Now, 1 is not equal to 0. It is also true. And then after. Digit is equal to 10 more 3, 10. 10 is 1, 1 div mode, 10 means the remainder is 1, because 10 divide 1 means 10 0, the 0 remainder is 1, that's why the answer is 1. This one is all right, or assigned to digit. And then after, rev is equal to rev into 10. In reverse, what is the number here? 2 n 2 n into 10, 120, 120 plus digit means what is the digit here? 1, 1, equal to 121. This 121 is assigned to rev. And then after what is here? 1, 1 divided 10 is equal to 0. Because the question is 0 here. So, 0 is not equal to 0. It is false. That's why it comes out from the loop. And then after, in reverse, what is the number here? 121. This 121 is equal, equal to n. The number n is 121. It is true. That's why it prints. Your percent D, in percent D, we have passed the number. So, 121, what is written here? Is the palindrome number. This is the output. Let's explain again once. Let's explain here from here. I'll explain here first. Suppose enter the number. In enter the number, you have passed 134. 134. In the tape, there is 134 because whatever the value we are assigned here in n, we input in n. That assigned in the variable temp. 134 not equal to 0, it is true. That's why digit, in digit what is here? 134 more 10. It means that what will be the answer? 4. This 4 is assigned to digit. Now digit as 4, the value 4. And rev is equal to rev into 10. Rev is 0 at first. 0 into 10. 0, 0 plus 4. In rev now, the value 4 is assigned. And temp, temp divided 10, 134, 134 divided 10 is equal to 13. The question is 13. Now, in temp, what is the value? 13 is assigned. 13, from here again, 13 not equal to 0, it is true. So, digit is equal to temp more 10. It means that, now, 13 more 10. It means, what is the remainder? 3 is the remainder. And rev is equal to rev into 10. Rev means what is here? 4. 4 into 10 is equal to 40. Plus digit, what is the digit here? 3. Plus 3 means 43. Now, in rev, what is the value assigned? 43 is assigned in 
rate and then after 10 is equal to 10 divided 3 10, 13 divided 10 is equal to now what is the question here 1 and 1 is not equal to 0 it is true so again in digit 1 more now here 1 more 10 1 more 10 means remainder is 1 now in digit what is the value assigned 1 is assigned and reverse into 10 reverse is 43 43 into 10 plus digit is what 1 1 is equal to 430 plus 1 431 and 10 10 is 1 1 divide 10 is equal to 0 now 0 is not equal to 0 it is false so it comes out from the loop here so it check the number the reverse number is 431 this 431 is equal to n the original number is 134 so it is false when it is false then it prints this it means that it prints it prints percent n n means what is 134 134 is not the palindrome number thanks for watching the video if you like my video please do not forget to subscribe and share among the friends hoping you have understand this concept of palindrome and you can easily now write the program of palindrome thank you